What's going on, everybody? I'm going to move this mic closer to you without spilling the red cup. No, that does not contain jungle juice or anything crazy. It's just some tea. Had a little Taco Bell, you know. Maybe one day Taco Bell will sponsor our streams and we could do the largest taco party. All right, now that's out of my system. Had a little PSA come back today. I only had four cards in the order. Uh, some other people had other cards in it. And you'll get to see those. I probably should have kept Brian's on hand because his was real nice. It was a Clemente, um, uh, I think it was like a quad patch. Real thick card from Museum 9. All right, so my four cards. These were all pickups from shows. Had a look. So the first one here, once upper deck like was pretty much done with basketball, and I'm talking like even college stuff, um, I really liked... The Teal Explosion Hoops. So, uh, the this was all part of one deal minus the second card in here. I had to throw this in. Figured it would get a nine. I just really liked these. Jamal Murray sixed on me somehow. It got a six. I'm going to try to figure out how to get this camera a little bit better here. There we go. Somehow came back a six. I cannot figure it out. I went back over this card, even through the case. I know the centering left and right was off, which put it in a nine was the only reason why I really graded it, because I really like them to begin with. But I cannot figure it out for the life of me. Nothing on the corners. There's nothing on the surface. I mean, I thought maybe like somebody dropped it and dinged the corner, went back over everything. I, I don't get it. Maybe somebody hit the 6 key instead of the 9 key up here and it just rode through. I, I, I'm really debating on cracking this and sending it back in one day, but I'm going to do it as bulk. I, I just don't see it. I mean, I've been known to miss stuff every now and then, but I went back over this again. Surprising, huh? See, not all this stuff is, comes back good. Sometimes you got these head scratchers. He's talking about head scratchers. This has to be the nicest PSA 3 Hank Aaron All-Star. You guys remember when I picked this up? I mean, the color, yeah, I got a little bit onto it. But look at the centering and the appeal. I mean, even the corners are not that bad on this. The Yaz was in worse shape and got a four. Ay, 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 is all I got to say. I even looked up back. I thought maybe I missed a stain somewhere or something. I mean... Realistically, I mean, look at the back. It's really nice. At this point in time frame, I knew what this grade was, and I was really scared uh, to even look at the rest of my grades. I was like, I probably just bottomed out somehow. Um, overall, I'm going to say this. I think the grader is very generous on some cards out there. Um, just not generous on mine. <laughs> but let's keep going here. Colin Sexton, Orange Laser, 10. This was part of the deal with the Jamal Murray uh, when I bought this stuff for on the next card up. This I was shooting really at a 9 on to. Um, came back at 10. I like these, though, the, the Orange Lasers. I really think that although I'm going to tell everybody to go out and buy Colin Sexton, but I think he's not going to be a cab much longer. Uh, I can see him moving on elsewhere. I just like what getting a little shine, like the laser coming out. But really happy with this. I mean, it's not anything crazy expensive. I'm guessing with a low pop count. Uh, just had it up here a second ago. I want to say... Pop six. Why? Because probably nobody else is grading but me. All right, last card. This was the one that I bought for the deal. And like I said, I had the basically the Sexton and the Jamal Murray thrown in because it made sense to me. Thankfully, Colin Sexton 10. I'll just show it to you guys at the bat. Trey Young, I wanted to get something different from Prism. Now, this is our choice. It was not heavily produced this year at 10. The blue, yellow, green. This thing, pop 50. Uh, I would rather have these choices than half the colors out there, to be honest. But really cool. 
really happy. This was somewhere between $1,000 and $1,100. Um, I want to say I picked this, the Sexton, and the Murray up for $200 or $180, something like that. $180, $200. I'd have to go back and really look at my books. But th this was what I really wanted. I was hoping it would make it as a 10, and it did. It lived up to the hype. Very, very happy onto it. So, more of my story today is, yay. I suck at grading vintage because I haven't done it in a very long time frame, but this has to be the very best PSA 3 I've ever seen of a Hank Aaron 58 All-Star. If you agree, let me know. And I got no idea. I pushed the wrong key because I went back over this card again. I just don't get it. I mean, there's no divots, no scratch marks onto it, no corners. I mean, other than the left and right and top and bottom centering, which would have gave it a 9 according to the percentages that I had, I just don't see it. I don't know. I keep staring at this over and over again. All right, guys, before I have you guys staring at it for about an hour here with me, that's pretty much it. I do have another order, two orders in QA1, one in assembly, so we got more coming back. Uh, you guys start seeing some more stuff I picked up from shows coming back. Keep in mind, a lot of my stuff is older with thicker uh, stock onto it, so we're going to be hoping for some 7s and 8s because it's basically set registry stuff for me. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Catch you guys uh, probably next video. No overtime. Wait, or is there an overtime this week? I don't want to lie to you guys. Let me get my calendar out. I know we just did an overtime. Nope, overtime on the 6th. 6th and 20th next month are overtimes. All right, guys. Take care of a good one. See y'all later.